Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. The whole goal is to get the crispiest chicken, right? A brass of chicken, because it has no skin, it's got no chance of getting crispy. So we're gonna make a nice coating. I've, I've been researching a lot about this for years, okay? And I like to try different methods. Nobody's done it in air fryer, so that's what I'm gonna do. Of course you're gonna get crispy chicken in a deep fryer, but we're trying to do achieve that in the air fryer. So we're gonna try that method, see if it works. Uh, it's a croissant sandwich. I got croissants, so I'm gonna make a sandwich out of that. But we're gonna make a nice sauce, like a like a burger or chicken sandwich sauce of some type, okay? So there we go. I don't have any pickles. That would have been good with this. I don't like pickles, so I don't buy pickles. But anyways, you guys ready? Let's go, chin chin. All right, you guys, so there's my chicken breast. I'm gonna slice it in half the long way, okay? And I'm gonna flip it over, cut it into two pieces. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave it at uh, the piece as it is and just flatten it that way. And then cut it according to the. Uh... It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So you take that and put it in a gallon bag. <laughs> You're trying not to use your dirty hand. Nope. Gosh, I'll be right back. Let me wash my hands. All right. So let's put this in the gas. So this will be good for if you could probably swing three sandwiches with this. But um, I'm I'm gonna do two. I think. I know. We'll see. All right. So right now it's about over an inch thick. Okay. So I'm gonna get a this out of the way here. Get yourself a mallet. Walmart, not this side, this is tenderizer, this is the pounder. And pound it down. Not too much, I'm gonna do this. And get it probably just about close to half an inch. I'll show you when it's done. And uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna make the brine, okay? So let me do this so you don't wanna hear that on camera and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I didn't do it too much, okay? You see the thickness of it? That's what you're looking for right there. The way I cut it was pretty good. All right, so let's make the brine. So simple. Get ready for this. That is a cup of water, cold water, okay? I'm putting this in the fridge. You don't wanna put it like tap water or warm water, you know, cause you keep it cold, okay? So here I have a teaspoon of salt and I'm doing a half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix this up so it's just dissolved, dissolved, dissolves. <laughs> Sometimes the Canadian is there, you yeah. know. All right, so I'm not cooking this today. We're gonna, we're gonna cook this tomorrow in the air fryer. So the longer you put it in the fridge, you know, at least four hours, but overnight is better. So I'm gonna cook this over a couple of times when I'm opening the fridge up. And uh, this is gonna help the chicken be tender. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back. Actually, I think I'm gonna make a sauce and let that sit in the fridge too. I'll show you the sauce. We'll be back. Let's, let's do this ahead of time. So here I have a half a cup of some good mayonnaise. That's my favorite, our favorite, I should say. Now there's no label on this one, but it's Uncle Steve's barbecue sauce or uh, the no name sauce, I think it's called. Anyways, I wanna put a link to that. Oh my God, best barbecue sauce in the world. Look at the spices in that. I'm telling you, once you have this, that's it, you're done. So I'm gonna put it's about, uh, let's see. Oop, make a mess, ooh, that's two. That's three, three tablespoons of that. Some Dijon, Dijon mustard. And this, we're gonna put a couple teaspoons of that in there. Hey, make sure you make a mess. You're not a real cook if you're not making a mess. It's ridiculous. So two teaspoons of that, okay? So I'm gonna mix this up with this in the fridge and this will have time to get married and get to know each other. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so what's the next day? Let's make our battering station. This is gonna be weird, but trust me, it's gonna work. So I've got one large egg here that we're gonna um, scramble up. And a half a cup of milk. Let me mix this up pretty good, make sure all the whites are broken up, and I'll be right back. So let's go. 
So we're gonna mix the uh, flour, which is a cup and a half of flour, just plain old white flour, all-purpose flour. And you, you need all this, okay? Three tablespoons of cornstarch. That's gonna help. You gotta put a nice skin on that chicken. After I'm done, I will write it down below for you guys, so no worries. Because over here, I have an assembly line here. <laughs> All right, so this is baking powder. This is a teaspoon and a half. Oops. About uh, almost a teaspoon of garlic powder. Not quite full. Three quarters, somewhere in there. And here's some freshly cracked black pepper. That's a whole tablespoon, okay? A heaping tablespoon. You want fresh cracked. That's gonna stick out, okay? And this is accent. That's one teaspoon, okay? The accent will enhance everything else. It's gonna bring out all these flavors. So that's a must have. Now be careful with that. That's MSG, okay? Um, but we can handle it here. Um, this is paprika. This is a teaspoon, and I'm using this. I always use this. Hungarian um, pep paprika, it's hot, okay? I'll put a link on Amazon, that's where I get it. And that's a good teaspoon of that. It's not that spicy, so you could do regular paprika if you can't do it, but it's it's just it's just lovely. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is um, about a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, so let me mix this up and then we'll go to the next step. All right, look how pretty. You can see the pepper flakes in there. Oh yeah. Don't freak out again. <laughs> You're gonna put four tablespoons of that stuff in there. Oh yeah. One. Two. Three. And four. They weren't quite full, so let me put this in here. All right. So at this point, that's kind of like the batter that I do with uh, the Louisiana fish fry, or it's, it's, I think it's called fish fry. But anyways, that's kind of what they do. They put uh, five tablespoons of the dry stuff and uh, half a cup of cold water. So it's kind of like this, but different. So mix this up with a fork and I will be back, okay? And show you what it looks like. So I took the chicken out and I got two good pieces for a sandwich there and kind of like a chicken tender for the little one, for the grandbaby. All right, so you could do tenders or whatever you know, fingers, chicken fingers, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to show you the air fryer in a minute, but let me show you what I'm doing with this here so we can figure it out. It's a rapid crisp air fryer by DeLonghi. Okay, this is the pan and this is olive oil. Okay, so let me start it up. I'll show you all the settings when uh, I change the angles here. Uh, let me turn it on, get a look at it. A pretty cool air fryer it's got a bottom uh, bottom burner and everything so i don't have to flip that chicken over you know what i'm saying so uh, i'm going to go to the manual setting i typed it down below what those numbers mean i'll show you when i get there but let me just get this started there so i can continue okay because i am going to get my hands dirty but you see how i got a beautiful piece here for a good quest sandwich to go in the egg mixture oh and that's what it looks like you got little clumps if you got big clumps, cut it with that fork, okay? It was pretty simple. And you could do another breast of chicken with all this stuff, but <clears throat> I'm only making two sandwiches, so. All right, you move this aside. Dry hand. Juanelo, you're watching. I miss you. I miss cheeks. We miss you. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. I love fried chicken. I love my my Popeyes fried chicken, man. That's less chicken, more more skin, more batter. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and then I'll change the angle and we'll go from there, okay? All right, you guys. Spray it with a little bit of oil there. Okay, it's gonna resume. No. Okay, cool. I paused it. Um, all right. So I went to manual. I bumped it up to number four. It's gonna tell you down below what that means. The bottom burner's on. Don't worry about the time. We're just gonna cook it till we reach 165 temperature, okay? 
So um, if I see it's getting dark too fast, because I don't like the chicken to look like it's burnt, um, it's not burnt, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna lower it, but we'll see how it goes, okay? Let's go. Look at this, 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look, just, just look at it. Just look at it. I'm gonna check the temperature. 160, I'd say 161. All right, let's keep her going. It doesn't take long. We're going to 165, so I'm gonna do it for another five minutes. It's gonna go over the temperature, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be tender and juicy, okay? So I'll be back. We're gonna call it done. Stop it, though. Move this aside. Oh my gosh. Look at the crispiness. And while it's hot, because my croissants are not warm, I cut them in half. Yeah. Okay. Here's our sauce that we made. And this is plain simple. No pickles, no cheese, no nothing, nothing, nothing. Is that cute or what? Look. Is that cute or what? All right. Drizzle some of this on the bottom. It's my first time using this. I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh. Um, if I find a spoon on Amazon, I'll I'll link it down below. Oh gosh. Hey, listen, the chicken's bigger than the croissant, but we don't care. This is how we roll here. Not too bad, not too big. Oh, look at that. And then we put some sauce on it, a little bit. Then you cover it there, and it's going to warm the top bun because that chicken is super hot. All right, so let me do the other one. I'm going to take some pictures, and then I'm going to try it. We'll be back. All right, you guys, isn't that beautiful? I got these envelope out of their, their wax paper to put your burgers and stuff in. Like I saw this in uh, <clears throat> in Japan when I had the best burger in the world was at the uh, uh, Japan airport. But you just put this in there. Is that not cute? That's beautiful. So it keeps all the juices and the crumbs. Uh, my daughter's taking this uh, on the road, so that's why I did that. Just to show you guys. I'm going to take a bite of that one. Look at that. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. That is the best sandwich I've ever had. There's a bun. That is so good. You know what this reminds me of? I like the chicken biscuit sandwich from, I wanna say Arby's, 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 has to be, I don't know. Canadians have a different one, I don't know. That is, just reminds me of this, that chicken does. You guys, you have to try this. And the way to make the chicken crispy, especially if it doesn't have skin on it, that's the way, all right? You could add spice to that. You could add um, uh, cayenne to it, whatever, but it's so good. You guys, thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.